this video is on the problem related to the Tyler series expansion and this topic is from complex power series and in today's video I am going to show that modulus of z plus 1 is less than 1 z power minus 2 is equal to 1 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity n plus 1 into z plus 1 power n so in the solution so it is very clear that so this is z power minus 2 can be written as 1 by z square clearly our f of z value is nothing but 1 by z square and a a can be written as so this can be written as z minus of minus 1 and therefore our center point here is minus 1 and what is this Taylor series expansion according to the Taylor series expansion we have according to Taylor's series expansion according to the Taylor series expansion we have f of z is equal to so this is f of a plus z minus a into f dash of a plus z minus a whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of a plus z minus a whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of a plus and so on. So here if I substitute f of uh, z as 1 by z square and in place of a as minus 1 see what happens here. So this will become 1 by z square is equal to so this is f of minus 1 plus z in place of a if I write minus 1 this will be z plus 1 into f dash of minus 1 plus this is z plus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of minus 1 plus this is z minus of minus plus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of minus 1 plus and so on clear now we have to get the values of f of minus 1 so this is f dash of minus 1 f double dash of minus 1 f triple dash of minus 1 and so on so what is this f of z first of all so first of all our f of z value is nothing but so f of z is nothing but 1 by z square clear from this so now f of minus 1 so in place of z if i keep minus 1 so this will be minus 1 whole square this is 1 by 1 the value here is 1 and clearly we got the value of uh, f of minus 1 f of minus 1 as 1 clear and next one we need f dash of minus 1 so for that we have to make a derivative for this so this value is so this is f dash of z is nothing but how to make a derivative for this so it's very clear that so we can write this as z power minus 2 so this is n into x power n minus 1 clear so now this can be written as minus 2 by this is z power positive this is minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 clear so this is the derivative and therefore f dash of minus 1 so in place of z if i keep minus 1 this will be minus cube so this is minus 2 by minus 1 the value here is plus 2 and therefore we got the value of f dash of minus 1 as plus 2 the next thing here is f double dash so the value here is f double dash so we have to make an another derivative here minus 2 is a constant so talking about uh, 1 by z cube can be written as see here z power minus 3 so this is n into x power n minus 1 and therefore so this will be minus 3 times of z power minus 3 minus 1 so this will be plus 4 if I write in the denominator and clearly f double dash of minus 1 is equal to minus 2 into minus 3 is nothing but 6 by in place of z if I keep minus 1 so this will be 6 by 1 and clearly the value here is 6 and therefore we got the value double derivative of minus 1 as 6 clear and next thing we have to make triple derivative so we have to make a triple derivative again we have to make a derivative for this so if i keep third derivative for this so this is minus 2 into minus 3 this value is 6 
I'm talking about z power 1 by z power 4 the derivative so 1 by z power 4 can be written as z power minus 4 again this is n into see here this is n into x power n minus 1 so if I use this formula so this will be clearly minus 4 by z power so this is minus 4 minus 1 so clearly this is z power 5 so if I keep minus 1 in the third derivative so this is minus 24 so this is minus 24 by minus 1 power 5 so again this is an odd power so clearly this is minus 1 and we got the value as plus 24 and therefore we got the third derivative that is f triple dash of minus 1 as 24 as clearly the value here is 24 so we got all the values ready and those values are nothing but see here right from here i'm uh, writing here that is f of minus 1 value is 1 the first derivative of f of f dash of minus 1 is 2 and f da double dash of minus 1 is 6 and f triple dash of minus 1 is 24 therefore according to the Taylor series expansion here is the expansion once again, I am writing that is 1 by z square. So, here 1 by z square is equal to this is f of minus 1 plus this is z plus 1 into f dash of minus 1 plus z plus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of minus 1 plus z plus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of minus 1 plus and so on. So, if I substitute all the values, then see what happens here. So, this will be 1 by z square is equal to f of minus 1 value is nothing but 1. So, here f of minus 1 value is nothing but 1. I am substituting and this is z plus 1 times of f dash of minus 1 value is equal to 2. And next one, this is z plus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of minus 1 value is 6. And next one, z plus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash the value here is 24 plus and so on so this value is nothing but this is 1 by z square is equal to 1 plus 2 times of z plus 1 here this is z plus 1 whole square so if i cancel this one so it goes in 3 times and next one z plus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 into 24 so this is a 6 6 fourths plus and so on now this can be written as so this can be written as so 1 by z square is equal to 1 plus 2 times of z plus 1 plus 3 times of z plus 1 whole square plus 4 times of z plus 1 whole power 4 plus and so on clear and now this can be written as 1 by z square is equal to this is 1 plus see here starting from 2 3 4 and so on so this value is nothing but sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity see here 2 3 4 can be written as n plus 1 here z plus 1 power 1 power 2 power 3 see here so this is power 3 so this is power 3 1 2 3 can be written as n clear now this is the expansion so we can write this as 1 by z square is equal to 1 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity so this one i wrote here from 2 3 4 so we can write as n plus 1 if you keep n is equal to 1 so we'll get 2 and if you keep n is equal to 1 we'll get z plus 1 power 1 if you keep n is equal to 2 this is 2 plus 1 3 and z plus 1 square and if n is equal to 3 3 plus 1 this is 4 and z plus 1 cube and so on so this is the expansion see let me explain you once again so this is the most important question related to the Taylor series expansion and from this we have to take this as a f of z and a value as minus 1 and after substituting and this is the original Taylor series expansion and if you keep a as minus 1 and f of z as 1 by z square so after making three derivatives and substituting we got four values and after substituting all the values and this is how we have to solve so this is how we have to solve see here clear so you can take a screenshot
see I'm keeping like this so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching